it's an honor to be here and uh, i'm really really feeling very happy very honored and uh, so the so the idea uh, you know how uh, it's a very very interesting thing how it all started and where it all have uh, you know reached am i am i audible yes sir you are audible going okay so uh, so you know uh, like whole thing the way uh, the way this has turned out uh, for me like in life has been nothing sort of a magical experience because uh, i come from a very very small village in up as you were saying some time back how you know coming from up makes it you know everything with a lot of conditions apply so coming from a very small village called malhosi it's it's almost 80 km away from kanpur and as a typical village boy i had my early schooling also over there in the school and unfortunately i would say i would good at studies so uh, my father saw the spark and he thought that i will become one day you know an engineer or will go to iit or maybe become an is officer so entire journey started since then and uh, with his choice you know i was going to schooling uh, which i end up going to lucknow and while living in morning school and i was i think i was 9 year old and i was sixth standard at that point of time because in my village i did home schooling so my first class which i ever attended was class 3 when i was 6 years of age so by the time i finished my fifth grade and when i went for sixth grade i went to the school in uh, in lucknow so the entire journey started like i really feel like what really builds your identity or you as a person is also what you enjoy doing so i have been like like any the child always been very curious and one of the things which has helped me was that my early schooling was very unstructured i did not see school before 6 year of age so it gave me lot more time to explore my own smaller universe it gave me lot more time uh, to discover things on my own it also helped me to to kind of you know uh, enjoy the whole process of existence in a small village so uh, you know in that way i kind of you know started learning drawing before i could learn a b c d and all that and and i am also sharing one more thing with you like i am a father of now 5 year old daughter and she doesn't know how to read or write because i'm trying to give her the similar kind of education where she doesn't have to go to school and uh, she is also really good in drawing she is also learning music she is she is enjoying everything so somehow it comes back to us is this identity or what we become in future is it a by product of the education what we go through maybe education is not the best tool which is given to us so that we remain you know individuals who have got i think lot more personality within themselves rather than becoming quite like each other i think we all are born uh, in in that way that's how i think god has created or whatever it is like genetically we are we are created engineered to be different from each other this is what i enjoyed and then at boarding school also i got a lot of time to be at myself i got a lot of time to sketch play whatever i enjoyed so i remember uh, till fifth grade i was i was first in class then in sixth also i was i was again coming first number one rank in in whole class coming a village boy coming to to a to a lucknow boarding school and still you know coming number one rank but then after that i started discovering my interest more and my interest was taking too much of my time and so slowly you know i from first rank i went to third rank then after the by eighth standard i was fifth in class 
the ninth attempt standard uh, you know it was very difficult for me to to you know uh, to be in top 10 also in the within the same class but at the same time i was i was enjoying a lot more you know making biology or botany drawings for uh, for for other fellow you know classmates and i was i was i was enjoying drawing more but whenever i got to know about fashion design somebody told me like you know you can do fashion design and when i told my father i think it was one of the worst days of my life like he thought that uh, you know i'm going to be being a ladies tailor bring a lot of disgrace to the family and you know they, like all my batchmates were going to iit and uh, i was also given tuitions in ninth standard to prepare for iit being in kanpur so i have to go and prepare for iit along with the studies so you know half the things i was not understanding i was not even enjoying so uh, then i had to also do my graduation because you know everybody suggested him like you know if you let him go uh, maybe after graduation he is not appearing for iit or he is not even preparing enough or maybe not good enough for iit but at least start with the graduation program so that you know and the stream them is the same science stream and maybe some of the better things might might happen to him so i did my graduation from kanto university did not attend even a single class i remember and uh, just somehow i realized when i connect these dots back that very typical very different looking approach since beginning somehow you know you sub- subconsciously have this kind of approach that you will able to create a difference because you are like that but somehow conditions that uh, those are around you they create that kind of thing with you i remember in kanpur uh, living at home i was doing nothing so i was probably ironing clothes for everybody in the family just to stay busy i would take care of like you know water supplies is a big city at the point of time sometimes you have to kind of you know fill in all the water take care of all these things take care of buying vegetables take care of everything possible for the home and coming from middle class family so all those things were really 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 needed and and it's good that if your father is happy your parents are happy <laughs> with a contribution in house when you're not not studying not doing anything but uh, one fine day i realized like you know it's a it's a old saying that kind of impacted me also if you make a hobby or profession there won't be a single work in your life and some i live by that and then i discovered about this uh, in delhi college of art even even uh, you know applied for for indian institute of mass communication i just wanted to do anything but get into physics chemistry maths again back in my life so uh when i when i wanted to apply for nid and nift uh, my father had such a you know strong opposition for the same thing that i would run away from my house for one year i stayed at my sister's place in delhi and that is where i think my shaping everything started in 2003 i got into an id and an id and the bad you know uh, although i wanted to be a filmmaker but i went to fashion and somehow you know everything started where i discovered craft i discovered flight of craftsmen then i thought about how design can be problem solving exercise how can we create you know a bit of positivity in society so today when i look back i i employ directly indirectly more than 1000 people today with craft clusters there is also very typical thing about about identity here you know i just want to share this like as a, as an artist i really feel we all like to create a certain identity at very early age we are taught like this is identity this is your dna you have to be like this but somehow identity is always a work in progress you can never you are developing every single day your thoughts are your thinker you are thinking every single day you are being challenged every single day often identity of style for an artist for me it becomes more like a safety net you like to play around in certain area you like to stay in certain way and you create the safety net around yourself 
and you are happy as well as the media or anybody who likes to associate with certain kind of thing or define you like that and marketing people are extremely happy but i really feel too much of pressure of identity and style suppresses the creativity suppresses the curiosity the child like curiosity i want to add here like you know uh, i remember my own childhood when when my daughter is born was born in 2015 since then i've been seeing her being curious about everything that's how she she discovering herself maybe a lot of things when you say like you know house is getting dirty she is she throwing sometimes water on the bed sheet or on the bed really like become really furious because we don't want to be we want like things to be in certain way but i think it's her way of of understanding how wet mattresses may look like how it may feel or maybe jump in a puddle is such a great idea to able to to able to you know uh, uh, understand the surrounding understand the you know slushiness of the water in the same way when we grow up why do you have to live with identity why do you have to have to you know uh, get on to this, this this idea of or as an artist you always thrown into into you always defined by a box where they try to say oh this designer is known for this has done this should do this why ultimately as an artist or as a as an individual one should have a freedom to explore we need to stay that fire of curiosity which makes us all flourish or maybe it has created a path so far so identity or maybe style is is to me is a great thing for for for, for outside world it's a it's a wonderful tool for people who create marketing when they talk about what is your usp you know that that yeah, so it's great but otherwise if you look at deeply we all are different individuals and we all have got strange identities and we all are like if you say more than 7 billion people on the planet we all are very very different from each other